remember how in the last part I was hemming and hawing and ultimately talked myself out of adopting. Welcome to today's part of Sims 4 Island Living where we will be adopting a child. So first thing I wanted to do today was have like a family dinner with Nohea, Ale, and Valilea, like their last kind of family dinner as a unit of three and then we'll go the next day and I think while Valilea is at school that's when we're going to adopt and I'll get further into like the story when we get to there. So first things first, I'm putting down a new restaurant because the restaurant I have is really big and expansive and it glitches a lot sometimes so I don't want to risk that. This one might glitch too, we don't know. But I'll be placing the Sulani restaurant and bar by Nagulfar007. So we're going to place it and I'm going to place it on my cultural center lot and I can always just switch this back if I want to go to the museum or have an outing. So we're going to place it there. Oh, actually, I forgot what I really wanted to do. I want to give Ale a haircut because for some reason I always thought when she, like, after she got married and when she get settled down and she's, like, an adult and established a career, she was going to get a haircut. I don't know. Okay, so I play Planet Zoo and the controls are, like, the opposite. So I still, sh like, if I do a lot of weird camera things, it's because I'm used to Planet Zoo controls now. <sighs> okay, so... I did play, I believe, just about a day, maybe a day and a half off screen. Um, and what happened was Ale finished a book. She wrote another book, or she's in the process of another book. So she published the first one. Um, that was called You Oughta Not Mr. Otter or something like that. I don't know. And this one's, oh, yikes. I don't know what this one's about. We'll have to see. Um, this one is called, well, I can't do it if it's the kid I'm selected. So the book she's currently writing is A Whale of a Time. So she's been writing. Um, she did not doze off yet, so we didn't update that. Vilea has been just playing her instrument more. She drew another picture, I believe, and she's still getting her creativity up. So we do still need to make the monster picture. That's the last one we need to do for that. And we just need to play an instrument for another hour. And then Nohea's just been chilling um she got another bonus at work I think maybe not I'm not sure she went to work that's about it um okay so oh my god these controls it's gonna take me a second I'm sorry um I think first thing before we go to dinner is I'm gonna go cut Ailey's hair or or um expect I forgot how to rotate because I'm trying to rotate like in Planet Zoo. I s oh, wow, really? Valilea has reached social level 10. Look at our social butterfly go. So we'll know she'll at least have two of the four. These ones are looking rough, but she creativity she will max because we have to for her aspiration. Look at our little bean go. I don't think I've ever maxed a childhood skill. Is that weird? Okay, so she's hanging out. Do you want to? She brought home another product. <laughs> Oh my god, she has a pen pal? That's so cute. I love having pen pals. I need to find like another cool pen pal. Oh, I really should find a pen pal. That's cute. I wanted to do that. I think I got my first YouTube comment. Oh, that is so stinking. Like, did I already find a winner? The first hair I... You know, I love this hair, but I think that's a little shorter than I want to go. Oh, that one is cute. Hold up. Oh, wait, that one's really cute. This is so difficult. So thank you to Sims on Coffee, who I saw on Twitter, favorited my tweet about my video for being my first YouTube comment. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. She doesn't have the kind of outfit I want her to have, so we're going back into Creative Sim. One second, that's not gonna work out. Whoa! What is that? That is scary. Ah, that is cute, okay. Now we're ready. Wait, wait, wait. Her hair's red. Has your hair been red this whole time? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You stop eating, I swear to God. Stop. Why did her hair change to red? Did her hair seriously glitch out? Oh my God, we have to go back to creatism. Travel with your wife and your daughter and we're going out to eat as a family it'll be a nice family dinner hopefully it won't glitch it'll be annoying <sighs> request a table oh she's cute so so danielle
Danielle looks so bored of doing her job. Like, sis, I work at a restaurant. I know it can be boring and annoying, but fake it till you make it. Where's our daughter? Come sit with your family. <gasps> Who is this kid I've never met before? What up? Oh, I hope he stays around for a second. We can meet him. Is this our server? Why is she sad? Why is she sad? Why is she so sad? This is our server and she's incredibly sad. Same thing applies to you, sis. Fake it till you make it. I know we all have bad days. Her name is Felicity and she is really cute, actually. Everyone in this restaurant is gorgeous. We're going to encourage good grades. We're like, hey, you're doing a great job in school. She has to get up to talk. And then we are going to, what's something that's like serious? We'll express our admiration. We'll be like, listen, you will always be our baby. You'll always be our pride and joy. But sometimes we have to do things that help others. And sometimes that means opening the doors to our family and inviting someone else into our family. So here's kind of what teach, this is what we're doing. We're teaching a valuable lesson that so here's my kind of idea that I came up with on the fly. There's a, a sleepover. You live together. Anyways, there's a child that has been taken in by a family that Ailey kind of met through her conservation efforts, like while she was exploring different parts of the island. And this child was orphaned kind of maybe in toddlerhood, in toddlerdom. Um, his parents, or their parents, I don't know the gender yet, um, were killed in like a canoe accident or some kind of thing. And, they were, and a family took the child in, but the family can no longer really care for the child. And instead of placing the child with an agency, Ayla is like, listen, we were talking about expanding our family. This is a great way to do it. We'll take the kid in. So that's kind of my backstory. So anyways, I guess uh, Valilea took it pretty well and our food is here. Thank God it didn't glitch out. Okay, we can eat now, let's eat. Or just drink our drinks. Tanvi, oh, they're cute too. All these kids, why do kids come to the restaurant? I should have been coming to the restaurant this whole time. Can we eat, please? Ma'am, I understand you're upset about something, but take your crying elsewhere. $85, that better have been worth it. And let's just head home. Well, first, I'm just gonna real quick have her make a cheeky introduction. Cheeky, I'm American, I don't say that. Where's that other cute kid? That little boy. Oh, Tommy, maybe it's a girl. Can we just friendly introduction all the kids real quick while we're here? Just like real quick. Just because, we're just gonna kind of speed through this real quick, hold on. Everyone's pretty much headed to bed. That's fine with me. So we're just gonna sleep. I will zoom through to the morning. Um, both Ayla and Nohea are off work. So we're just gonna send Valilea off to school and then we will adopt. And I've never adopted before, so I don't know the process. And I don't have a, a huge bank account. Um, but really all I need is like another bed. So we're up and we're getting some breakfast. That's fine. You just literally just went to dinner last night, but I guess people, I guess people get hungry. That's a thing. I feel like I sound extra, um, stuffy and like nasally and weird today. If that's the case, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. She's definitely going to go to college for something in the arts. Let's be real. So we're probably going to end up going to Bright Chester. Which one's the... Hold on one sec. Yeah, we're, we're going to end up going to University of Brightchester because we don't really need to go to the Institute. So I'm already planning her future. It's cute. It's like a big demon bunny. No, hey, has, I don't like this is weird to say about like her body. She's looking good. But also so is a lady like. So let's um hug, let's deep conversation, like let's make sure this is what we really want to do and they're excited about it. They're like, are you sure you want to do this? And they're like, yes, let's do it. It's right for the kid, it's right for us to expand our family. It's something that, you know, we've been talking about. Oh, they're kissing, yeah, they definitely are into this idea and they're happy about it. So let's, Tuesday at 9.20 a.m., hire a service and expand our family. And we'll have to jump into creative sim because I'm gonna have to change the name. And okay, so adopt child. It's a thousand dollars to adopt. And I'll just need to get like a different bed. So it'll be fine. She's like, 
let's let's do it I think we're ready to adopt and here we go so okay so we have the babies we're not gonna get a baby and I think return of the demon twin except that's just a singleton so demon singleton so we're gonna get a kid and um, there's a few boys three boys and three girls to choose from and I have a problem where I just like girls I just like like they have cooler fashion they have cooler names <laughs> I think they're just cooler, but I don't want to be like, I'm going to have only girls, no boys ever. Because I think Violet is going to end up like being in love with starting a family with a boy, if that happens for her. So I don't want to be like, no boys allowed, but I also just like girls a lot. But Ricardo is very cute. But Paulina is also cute. And she has red hair glasses and we don't have a lot of glasses so I think I'm gonna go with Paulina and this isn't because I don't like boys it's just because I think Paulina is cute and has I know you can put glasses on anybody but like this is a part of her now where are we going Paulina oh oh we have to leave hold on <laughs> well okay um so Nohea has been left in charge of getting the house ready for Paulina I cannot go to build mode because an adoption's in progress. Do you want to like take care of the plants real quick? You can't, so that's fine. Harvest our coconuts. Harvest the coconuts. I kind of did like in Sims 2 how it was like more random. Like you could either adapt like whatever age range and then it just, a kid showed up. They had a usually weird name and like you didn't know if it was a boy or girl. I did kind of like that because like it's just more random. But We've already done this one and we're waiting for recess. Every time we wait for recess. Oh, she did good this time though. It always interests me, but her airplane did good this time. So we are not adopting Paulina. We are adopting, this is the name I've chose. I look, this is a Hawaiian name and it is Momilani. And it's spelled as such. And we could call her Momi or Lani for short, Momilani. And Nahale Tamu. I did think about, well, maybe I'll, do, hold on. I'm going to do Hawaiian surnames because her last name's going to be Kama. Let's see what she looks like. Anyways, her paper airplane, Um, they, all her friends want to teach, want her to teach them the new design. So now she has friends. So, so this is our new daughter, Momi, Momi Lani. Or Momi or Lani. Whatever you fancy. Oh, there's an airplane. That's cute. And she is cute. She has freckles. She has red hair. That's kind of curly. And some earrings. And this interesting outfit. We can now take family leave. Oh, they're hugging. And, like, obviously this is the first time they met. Like, obviously, Ale and uh, Nohea both have met her before. And, like, talked with the family that she's been staying with. She is also a little string bean. Yeah, it's kind of like a random mishmash. Like, it doesn't perfectly go together, but it's still... She is a string bean. Holy string bean. We'll do some little sandals. What do we got on our wrist here? That's cute. We can keep that. Let's just make it blue, I guess. Yeah, that's cute. We can keep that. All right, so this is Momilani. Little cutie pie string bean. Oh, she hates cats. And she's a rambunctious scamp who hates cats. And we have a cat. Should I just... No. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. She hates cats. She's angry because we hate cats. Calm down, sis. It's not that bad. Be nice. Be nice. Apologize right now. We cannot start off our first day. Oh my god. She is mad about this cat situation. We might have to rethink this. Apologize. Hug. Lovingly. Talk about favorite animal. If you hate cats so much, what's your favorite animal? 
Spelling bee aid. It's a school spelling bee and Valilea has made it to the final round, but this time she's never even heard of the word she's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room. No, we're not cheating it. Give her best shot. Well, still better to lose, honestly. Yes. So we're going to have to rethink something. Either our cat or our daughter. <laughs> no, we're giving up the daughter. Of course course we're gonna meet our sister for the first time while we're angry because oh, save game lag auto save lag auto save lag where's our sister hi mommy nice to meet you hey Oh, this is just bad all around because Momi's in a bad mood. So I think to wrap up this part, we're going to change that trait because I can't have her being mad all the time about cats. Like, it's just not going to happen. All right, so we are kind of getting along. We're learning conflict resolution. Good job, us. Momi is mad. So to round this part out, I will go into full edit mode and change her trait because we're not giving up our cat. We're not giving up our new daughter. And I'm not going to have her be mad all the time because she hates cats. And that's my justification for changing this trait. Restless. We'll change it to restless. That fits with Rambuxa Skip. So she is restless. Momilani is now restless. And she won't hate our cat anymore. Because Lilo really did nothing wrong. Lilo's kind of a jerk. Like, remember when she and that kid got in a fight? But she doesn't deserve just relentless, unneeded hate. She doesn't deserve that. Thank you so much for watching. In this part, obviously, I um, changed my mind again, and we did end up adopting. And this is our beautiful new daughter, Momilani. And she is restless, a rambunctious scamp. She is loving her new family. She hates our unicorn, which, whatever, but at least she doesn't hate our cat anymore. Um, so, yeah, in the next part, we're just going to start living life as a family of four. I do have some ideas for what's to come but they're not that exciting so don't get your hopes up <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching i'm still really loving this series university comes out friday but i will not be ready then i didn't even realize we're getting extra food um how many days till her birthday seven days so she has another week of being a kid and then it'll be another whatever like two weeks or whatever of being a teen and i think it should line up pretty good that she'll go back to school like in the fall which makes sense so yeah Thanks for watching. I hope you stick around for the series. It'll just be a lot of skill building, getting things done for our aspirations, that kind of thing. But I'll throw in some exciting things. I'll plan some things out and have a nice little story going for us. So yeah, comment down below if you enjoyed this part. What was your favorite part? And I will see you next time.